Hi guys. It is a cloudy, gloomy Monday morning here in the end time. It is Monday morning, September 17th, 2018, and your old doomsday tourist and his little dog are uh, packing up this gas-sucking truck for the last time in the summer of 2018, heading back to Garfield, Texas. So before I start, I want to share, I guess this will be the last comment from the summer of 2018 from my old buddy Treebeard, who I never got to meet up with this summer. It was a great disappointment not meeting up with Brother Treebeard. And so this is his uh, farewell to the summer of 2018. Take it away, Treebeard. Kick off my Monday morning. A disappointment from my end as well, meaning not being able to meet up in Canada because of those goddamn cops at the border. <clears throat> A disappointment from my end as well, after finally getting home from an unexpected excursion which took me from the fire ravages of British Columbia to remote communities throughout northern Canada and a few fly-in lodges, a few impressions that have yet again reinforced my thoughts and feelings like a hammer blow to the brain. When you spend hour after hour seeing our planet with a bird's eye view, the passing of unburnt forests, amazing vistas of lakes and rivers, the feeling of awe of our beautiful planet, but underneath this, like a black, poisonous vein of filth, depravity, and destruction lies the human factor. In our own way, we are all killing the planet in its current form. I feel the guilt, the shame, and the sadness that my species is capable of such horrific nightmares, but like yin and yang, we are also capable of such beautiful dreams, deep compassion, empathy, and love, of finding that little spark of community that tells me I am not alone in spirit and am part of a collective consciousness. I have been a member of this tribe for a long time, and one thing that I can take pride in is that I contribute a little to the community with my experience and perspective. Through the videos on this channel, it takes me on my own journey where I feel I am sitting with Hambone in his truck, cruising along highways, having deep discussions, oh yeah, or just sitting in silence watching the miles pass by, or sitting around a fire or a table with food, drink, and music in the background with the other members of the tribe. Being, a, being part of a community where you're not considered a freak or crazy off your meds, it's this community that makes my days whether it's in the depths of a cold, dark Canadian winter or the more common sweltering heat waves, that makes it just a little more bearable, makes the pain a little more bearable. So sitting here looking out the window into the greens and now yellows and reds and of falling leaves of the forest, watching the dogs playing find the squirrels or the birds of the forest, I send out my gratitude to Hambone for keeping this community going and to all the tribe's members for their support in whatever form it takes. These days are the gravy days. Our time is short. Sunrises and sunsets are numbered. Be kind to our fellow non-human earthlings. They need our kindness and compassion more than ever as they die in ever more numbers. With that, I bid you all farewell and hope all of 
our final journeys are worthy of song. Yes, uh, I would. I would like to. Uh, anyway, I won't. I won't sully that beautiful comment with some comment about the 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 song uh, for my life's journey. I, anyway, guys, and uh, that was Treebeard's response to a depressed collapsitarian uh, reviewing the wasted summer of 2018, and and in that. Uh, whine from yesterday. Of course, I mentioned my broken record whine of wanting a girlfriend in my life, of, of missing feminine company in my life. So I cannot I resist uh, sharing this uh, comment from Brother Dan. I, uh, I, I'm quite confident that Brother Dan's wife is not a member of Humpty Dumpty tribe or brother Dan is up Chick Creek. Take it away Dan and explain to Hambone why I do not remind Hambone why I do not in fact need a woman in my life. You don't need a fucking woman in your life. Obviously you have forgotten what it's like to never have one damn second of silence in your life. To always have suggestions as how to do whatever the fuck it is you're doing. Of having a list of things you should do. To wanting to strangle somebody because it's the only way to shut her fucking mouth. I am on wife number three, and I cannot stand the fucking bitch. And besides, she stopped putting out years ago. She never shuts her fucking mouth. Hell, she even talks in her sleep. If it wasn't for her money, my point is you can have a woman in your life and be just as lonely as you are now, only with less freedom. Yes, and my response to Brother Dan was, yes, I have been down that road too. Just one more example of frying pan or fire here in the end times. And with that, I gotta wrap this up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over to the mainstream media news and pick out this scroll down and pick out one story from the mainstream media news here on Monday morning September 17th to uh, to darken your day as if your day isn't already dark enough by nine o'clock on Monday morning. Bye guys.